Hello boys and girls and welcome to another lesson of science in daily life in the grade 9 classroom. I am Miss Riemann and I'm here to take you on another fun and exciting journey as we learn more about a balanced diet. Last session we have identified the six essential nutrients. We also stated the food associated to each group of nutrients. Today boys and girls we're going to look at some nu nutrient deficiency, their symptoms and treatment. Now, what is a nutrient deficiency? A nutritional deficiency occurs when your body doesn't get enough nutrients. Symptoms, for example, and these are common symptoms. At first, the symptoms may not seem serious. They may include tiredness, difficulty sleeping or concentrating, frequent colds, weight loss or weight gain, However, if the deficiency is not corrected, the symptoms may get more serious and affect the skin, eye, and bones. The best way to avoid a nutrient deficiency is to eat well or have a balanced diet. Now, what are the causes of nutritional deficiency? One, inadequate intake of diet or a specific nutrient or vitamin. Two, Excess use of a specific nutrient. Three, malabsorption. Four, disease. What are some types of deficiency? You have one, mineral deficiency. Two, vitamin deficiency. Three, protein deficiency. And four, lipids deficiency or fat deficiency. Major mineral deficiency basically comes in this order. You have one, the deficiency disorder, then two, you will have the symptoms, and three, treatment. First, we're going to look at calcium. What are some disorders that are associated with calcium? Rickets are caused due to lack of calcium or vitamin D deficiency. You also have osteoporosis, muscular disorders, and you have skin disorders like tanning of the skin or a darkening of the skin. The symptoms would include bone disease, abnormal bone shape, bone pain, pigeon breast, and bored legs, for example. You will also have muscle cramps, spasms, or tremors. Here you can take a picture of what it's like to have rickets, signs of rickets. You will see the boy neckline. You will see carved bones big joints, and bow legs. Sunlight is the best prevention and treatment of rickets. Remember, boys and girls, rickets is caused by a lack of vitamin D deficiency. Now, how do we treat a, a lack of calcium? Basically, one, we use a calcium-rich diet. Two, we take calcium supplement. Three, we use vitamin D supplement. Or four, we just take a sun bath or we sit in the sun for a little bit. Next, we'll look at phosphorus deficiency. This can also cause rickets and osteoporosis. What are the symptoms? Bored legs, soft bones, bone pain. For example, it's almost similar to a calcium deficiency. How do we treat that or how do we treat a phosphorus deficiency? We use a lot of milk products, egg yolk, legumes, nuts, and whole grain. We also can take phosphorus supplement. Next, we look at an iron deficiency. The disorders that come with an iron deficiency are one, anemia, two, colon cancer, and three, fatigue. Symptoms are as follow. You would feel weak and tired out most easily. You would feel dizzy, be grumpy or cranky have headaches, look very pale, feel short of breath, and have trouble concentrating. How do we treat an iron deficiency? 
We can use iron rich food or have an iron rich diet or we can take iron supplements. What are some iron rich food? You have chicken, liver, broccoli, potato with the skin, beef, egg yolk, etc. The next one we'll look at is called iodine deficiency and iodine deficiency can cause the following disorders. One, goiter, hypothyroid, and hair loss. The symptoms include overgrowth or regression of your thyroid gland, and the treatment would include seafood, salt, and milk products. Here you can take a picture of someone with goiter. Next, we'll look at vitamins deficiency, and we'll look at vitamin A. If there's a lack of vitamin A, we can have night blindness, reduced hair growth, loss of appetite, low resistance to infection, dry eyes, and a few others. How do we treat a vitamin A deficiency? We use lots of milk, butter, eggs, chicken, liver, and vitamin A supplement as well. If we have a vitamin B deficiency, the disorders are as follow. You have beriberi, anxiety, visual problem, mouth sores, and nerve damage, just to name a few. How do we treat that? We can use banana, dates, dairy products, fish, seeds, etc. Now, the next one we'll look at is called fat deficiency. There are many diseases that come from fat and their deficiency increases the risk of getting affected by cancer, coronary heart disease, behavioral problems, depression, cognitive decline, and chronic inflammation. Be sure to get yourself on a healthy diet and reduce the risk of getting any fat-related diseases. Next, we have deficiency disease of protein. A lack of protein in the body can lead to protein deficiency disease, particularly in children, which can prove to be fatal. Some diseases caused by lack of protein include marasmus, kwashiorkor, and so on. How do we rectify that is that we have a diet rich with protein and we can have a more intake or, or have more food that has protein. The last one we look at is called carbohydrate deficiency disease. It is not good to have a large intake of carbohydrates, but long-term elimination of carbohydrates can cause some serious health problems. Some diseases caused by a deficiency of carbohydrates are, one, you have mood swing, two, reduces stamina, and usage of fat as a fuel source. So if we don't have any carbohydrates, we don't have the energy. So we don't have, we're very drained and tireful, and we don't have the urge or the feeling to do anything. So what will happen now, they will use the fat if the fat is more in your body to, as a source of energy. Now, boys and girls, that has brought us to the end of looking at deficiency caused by a uh, malnutrition or malnourished diet or a lack of any of the nutrients in our diet. I hope you had a good lesson today. It was very informative. Do join me again as we explore more on nutrients. I am Miss Freeman and until next time, bye-bye.